Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. Today's video is going to be a story of what if Izuma Doria was, had... Wait a minute guys. What if Izuma Doria had the quirks of the Shihi Psyche? Or better known as Overhaul's Gang. So yeah. Zuko... Izuku was gifted with several quirks, than in just one. The first actually for him to discover was a quirk he called that was called overhaul. And continuing on. But we're not actually starting where the story would actually start. We're just starting after the aftermath of resting with Eri. Izuku was in his bed as he touched as he checked the room and made sure no one was around. Izuku grabbed a a packet of cigarettes and he just lit one up and started smoking. Izuku just Izuku smokes just because well he's depressed. Izuku does this mainly because it's better than drugs. Also, to the fact that Izuku can just re rebuild his or his lungs. So yeah, Izuku, while smoking, Izuku just cries as earlier earlier in the week he overheard as I was saying that. Harry will be taken into foster care. Izuku being in there himself knows it's a, a shitty and broken place. He literally had to work his ass off to actually get into UA. And knowing that it's hard to actually get into a high school while well, being from the home is just, god damn it, it's hard for him. He just don't want Eri to grow up that way. So, Izuku takes one last smoke and then puts it in his mouth. Izuku, Izuku instantly generates emeralds around his on his body as he walks to Kirishima. Later, Izuku, carrying some bags, walks to a pawn shop as he give, as he sells the emeralds. Izuku's all bloody up as he is it looks like he's been beaten and badly bruised. Izuku the shopkeeper asks him what happened to him. But Izuku just says that he fell down the stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. Rock hard stairs. So yeah. Izuku So yeah, Izuku gets a lot of cash in a hundred dollar bills. Basically, three ba three um, black garbage bags worth of a hundred dollar bills. So yeah, just estimate how much that is. Six black garbage bags worth. Okay, continuing on, Izuku buys a car and a truck. Izuku pull uh, also an RV. So yeah, basically buy some really expensive stuff, expensive cars and and all the trucks and RVs. Isuka then buys an apartment, a penthouse apartment, a really really good one to be exact. Buy gets a job. As a bouncer, a cashier, and literally buys the local. Actually, they don't want to have Costco's in Japan, so yeah. Basically, and as well as KFC, but also buys a com a privately a company that Momo that Momo asked if he wanted to buy, as she knew was as he was planning. So yeah. You see, Momo, 
knew what he was planning to do as he told her. And to be honest, he's actually the one that gives Izu the cigarettes. As she knows what Izu is going through. Not really, but just feels what he is. She's a kid that killed his parents by accident. Put in the foster home and not really given a second chance. So, yeah. So, when a... I had a contract when a person that they had a shares in where a person, a company that, that the Yarioses had a share in went bankrupt. She bought it herself and then sold it to Izuku. So Izuku starts buying several houses and a cabin in several places. Has them renovated and all that. Izuku... Goes there and takes pictures. And does this in a week. Okay, guys. He is fast. He... So, yeah. So, yeah. Izuku... No. I'm going home. Tell me guys get ice cream. Sorry about that, guys. That's my mom and dad. <laughs> so, yeah. Continue on. Izuku goes to the, an orphanage that has Eri. Izuku... Izuku is standing outside it as he lights up, lights up a cigarette and talks to the person. So, yeah. She, the person says that they were expecting several people to come and get her, so wait, he'll, they'll wait. So it's going to be a long wait. Izuku uses confession, and they just instantly say that they just want to get rid of her. And we're thinking about giving her up to a black market instead, but they can't due to legal issues and all that. And we're planning to actually dump her on the side of the road. Izuku had the Izuku walked out, not not planning on dumping area yet. Gave the inform, gave the recordings to the police. The whole foster home gets investigated. Investigated. Izuku goes back and adopts Ari. So yeah, Izuku walks into the dorms. As Ari follows him, Izuku lights up a cigarette that and asks Ari what does she want to do. Ari just smiles and just hugs Izuku, saying that she missed him. Izuku hugged Ari back, at saying that he missed her as well. Izuku is just a cold person on the outside, but really loving on the inside. So yeah. So yeah. Izuku. So yeah, the last part of Izuku's plan happens as Izuku tries to get Eren into some private schools, schools that won't actually be too hard on her, but schools that are hard enough so that she will learn. So yeah. Izuku gets her, her enrolled. And every day before school starts, Izuku takes her to the bus stop and waits for the bus for her. So yeah, one of the days Izuku had to get to class quick as they were doing rehearsals before class and everyone on herself. Eri got lost and some shady guys were about to kidnap her when they in when Izuku induced her into a sleep and murdered them both of them. Here's a call saying as Izuku told them that they were, they were going to attack her and he just defended her. They are about to pull out a gun and that happened. And Izuku basically placed him a gun where the thieves were, where the kidnappers were going to, where the kidnappers bodies are. Izuku waked up Eri 
before the cops came and yeah Eric tried to give her side but did not know as she fell into as she was unconscious for a lot of it so yeah Izuku promises Eric that he'll never leave her alone again making sure that he always comes to the bus stop with her so yeah Actually, no, he needs to continue this on right for a little bit more. Izuku walks into a warehouse, basically a factory. Izuku flicks the, the used cigarette away as he just looks around. Hmm. Later at night, Izuku, a some personnel were taking the arrested Nomus to more assign to be experimented on when they were attacked by an unknown person. Izuku used mimicry to mimic to the road and used it as a camouflage. And it worked. Izuku detained the Nomu and took them to his to the warehouse. Izuku just smiled at this. If there's anyone knowing what facility and warehouse Izuku's talking about, Izuku's talking about a villain factory. Izuku saw some some old containers here as the last member of the villain factory wanted to get rid of it all. And told them told Izuku that it, those things come with it. Izuku said that he will he will accept this offer. So yeah, Izuku takes the Nomu in and starts replicating the Nomu, making Hirai's versions of them. So yeah, when Hood attacked, Izuku made sure to actually help Endeavor. As if Endeavor failed, things could end badly. So, yeah. Zuku did not go as himself, but instead went as the whole, basically underground the city. He moved himself into the concrete and manipulated it so that he can basically help Endeavor without knowing. The end, Endeavor did not kill Hood, but instead... I'm not sure if Hood was arrested or not, but yeah, basically Izuku took Hood. And Izuku started the Neo Villain Factory. And that's going to be it for today, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.